Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Faith Builder. Happy Wednesday morning, hump day. Hope you're having a great week. Um, this week, we're looking at this idea, how do we grow hope? How do we grow hope? And uh, the second word that we've been looking at in, in, in the all that discourse that Jesus gives us to help us with this, uh, the first was being watchful. We need to be watchful. And we talked yesterday about uh, understanding, do we have a biblical view of things or is it just a political? And is the Bible, the gospel actually impacting our view or is politics more? The second word he gives us is expectant, is that are we expecting, growing in our expectancy that Jesus is coming back? It is impossible to be and grow hope without a, also uh, um, the very center of that, right, is that we would grow in our expectation that Jesus is coming back. And uh, unfortunately, I think we throw that around very flippantly rather than really think about that. Internally, we see in the scriptures that when the church gathered together at the very center of this was there was this continual, which we see at the end of the Bible, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come. And just ask you this morning, are you growing in that uh, real desire? Like, wow, Jesus, when he comes, he's going to make all things new. He's going to make all things, bring justice and bring new heaven, new earth, all of that. And bring the completion to our salvation with the resurrection of our body and everything else. And so just some things to think about. And the question is, well, how do I grow in that? How do I grow in, in this, this longing, right, for Jesus? And it also really fleshes out, doesn't it, our sanctification in the sense of really how much of this world do I, am I putting my hope in, in my pleasure in, rather than in Him? And the reality is for me to grow in my expectation for Jesus' return, it really comes down to my affection for Him. Am I growing in intimacy in personal knowledge of Jesus? And that cannot happen without, I think, two clear things. One is being a committed part of a local body. In other words, who are we locking arms with? Who are we breaking bread together with? That is the context of our growth and our hope. Secondly is discipleship, the Great Commission. Are we making disciples? Are we engaged in people's lives being discipled? And are we learning to make disciples and, and coming alongside others, helping them grow in their affection? Not just knowledge about the Bible, but affection for Jesus. In other words, do we really know him? Remember, he says that in John 10, that my sheep, they hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. This is the course of discipleship. Without that growing, we can't grow our hope, and we can't grow in legitimate right expectation that Jesus is coming back. Now, here's something really exciting coming up here the end of this week is the beginning of Rosh Hashanah. You have, if you have Jewish French, it's the beginning of the Jewish, um, Jewish New Year. Uh, another name for that is the Feast of Trumpets. It's the fifth of the seven feasts that God gave um, his people. And uh, the Feast of Trumpets uh, is the first of the fall uh, feasts. Uh, the first four were in the spring, starting with Passover, and Jesus perfectly fulfilled all four of those. Like on Passover, he died. I mean, how do you pull that off, right? And then the Feast of Unleavened Bread, he covered our sins. Feast of First Fruits, he rose. He was the first fruits from resurrection, and, and he rose on that day, on that feast. And then 50 days later, Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit comes upon the church, right? Jesus fulfilled that perfectly, right? The Feast of Weeks, the, the Pentecost, right? The the fulfillment, right, of, of the church itself. So Jesus is going to fulfill the Feast of Trumpets. And we see here in the, all the discourse that at the trumpet blast, Jesus will return. We don't know the day or the hour, but there's something wonderful about this Feast of, of Trumpets. Um, uh, many are being called to prayer. I know in Washington, D.C. on the 26th uh, um, that uh, many are gathering to pray for our nation. I'd encourage you to get with your church, get with your community group, get with your folks. Um, we're gathering here as a church, Crossroaders, this Friday together to pray here at 630. I hope you'll come and join us as we lift up our nation and we call upon God. Hope this blesses you. Let's be expectant. In Jesus' name, amen.